My next guest is a talented woman who has worked as a leader in business, now serving as a United States Senator from Tennessee. She's been very active in serious issues that are facing our country, including protecting our borders and citizens, as well as tackling the growing opioid crisis in our nation. Senator Marsha Blackburn, thank you for joining me tonight. Always a pleasure to have you with me. Thank you. I want to start you. with uh, something that happened this week. You, uh, fortunately, went to the Senate floor and blocked what would have been a unanimous consent bill that was a, well, frankly, a cheap political stunt. Tell us about that. There was a unanimous consent request. Senator Warner and Senator Schumer, the Democratic leader, uh, were bringing it forward, and this would be uh, involving the FBI and reporting activity in campaigns. And they were couching it as reporting foreign interference into a campaign. But what the bill actually would do would be to require every campaign to basically inform someone before they talked with them. Let's say you're out knocking on a door, you would have to say, I, I'm here on behalf of someone's campaign are you a foreign national? <laughs> it would also expose people who wanted to comment on campaigns to say if they were a citizen or if they were a foreign national or would open them to scrutiny. So it is something that is a free speech issue and we know it was a one of those political stunts. And I have to tell you, one of the things we know, Governor, is that when you want to say this is about 2016 and about Russian interference and nobody wants foreign entities to come in and interfere with the federal government. So I commend my Democratic colleagues for finally realizing Russia is a threat, both in the physical and the virtual space. But what we have to realize also is that this is not something new. It wasn't unique to 2016. And while they're always trying to interfere with public policy, they did not interfere with any balloting process. You were recently down at the border with Mexico near El Paso. You're one of the folks that actually went down there to see yes. firsthand what's happening. What did you see and then do we really have a crisis or is it, as some of the Democrats say, a manufactured crisis? It is indeed a crisis, not only a humanitarian crisis, but also a national security crisis when you look at what is happening at the border. And I think we're at the point that we need to surge resources to that southern border because those border patrol and God bless them and protect them and bless their families because of what they're dealing with every day. And you know, Governor, it is not only a crisis where people are just walking across our border, raising their hands and saying amnesty. It is a crisis in that they are coming in with different diseases. There are measles, mumps, H1N1 flu, there's HIV, there is TB, there's scabies, there's lice. And our Border Patrol agents are being exposed to this, and I really worry about them and their families. I think, what would happen if these guys one day just say, I can't take it anymore? I'm working long hours, I'm undercompensated. I show up for work, I'm shown disrespect by people that are coming in. Uh, the border facilities, the checkpoints uh, built to hold 85 people or 123 people and those two facilities are each holding over 1,200 individuals right now. You look at the drugs coming in, while I was there at the border, five kilos of fentanyl was intercepted by our border agents. Uh, you had another car that was just full of marijuana. Every quarter panel, top, bottom, all around that car. And it was amazing what they had packed into that car. And our border agents are there on the front line of this battle. And it is something that they need the resources for. And as they all told me, yes, they need the wall. They also need technology. They need more agents. They need more courts, uh, which means more judges. So the resources to combat this 
are important and then Congress needs to do its job and change the asylum laws. Mexico needs to step up and meet the commitments that they have made to us to secure their southern border and to deploy the National Guard so that they are helping to deal with this because the cartels are going to continue to run across their border and our border. And the cartels deal in two things. One, they traffic human beings, which is modern day slavery. And number two, they deal in drugs. Senator, we always love to have you. Looking forward to having you again. And thanks for the many different bills that you are pushing on behalf of the American people. Have a great weekend and thanks again for joining us. Thank you so much. Now, if you wanna know more about Senator Marsha Blackburn and the work that she's doing, you can visit her online at blackburn.senate.gov. Also follow her on social media at Marsha Blackburn.